The Affordable Care Act isn't just a new way to get health insurance. It also ushers in a new approach to care. Meet the ACO. An accountable care organization is a network of doctors and hospitals that shares financial and medical responsibility for patients. The goal is to coordinate care and eliminate unnecessary spending. Medicare set these up around the country, and private insurers have too. In the health system today, patients are usually responsible for coordinating their own medical care. Someone with heart disease may see a primary care doctor, a cardiologist, and maybe even a heart surgeon. But the doctors might not talk much, so they could order repetitive tests or prescribe conflicting drugs. That isn't good for the patient, and it's expensive. It's also not the way things work in most other industries. Imagine your car won't start. Now imagine that to fix it, you had to schlep to the transmission whisperer, the battery baron, the timing belt tycoon, and the piston professional. Each would only look at their piece of the car and not think about how the parts work together. That makes no sense. Instead, you go to an auto garage, where an organized crew works together to make your car run again. An ACO brings that kind of coordination to your medical care. Your doctors, imaging specialists, surgeons, hospitals all work together and share information to figure out the best way to fix you up and keep you healthy afterwards. What's in it for the ACOs? ACOs that save Medicare money get to keep a portion of that savings if the doctors and hospitals can show they're doing a good job keeping people healthier. So are ACOs working? Well, the jury's still out. It's unclear how much money ACOs save, and some organizations that tried to form ACOs have quit. There are also concerns that ACOs could reduce competition and lead to higher prices. Wait a minute, how is this different from an HMO? ACOs have been accused of being health maintenance organizations in disguise. Both depend a lot on a primary care doctor who coordinates care. But there are some major differences. Patients in HMOs are covered only when they see doctors that are part of the HMO. In a Medicare ACO, patients can also see doctors outside the ACO. Shouldn't we worry that an ACO can save money by cutting corners? ACOs get graded on a list of quality measures to make sure no one skimps on care people need. These measures don't yet track all aspects of care, but the goal is to give ACOs financial incentives to keep people healthy instead of just treating them once they're sick. Want to learn more? Go to the address on the screen.